Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Let's Play GBS A Cthulhu Adventure. Yeah, nachdem wir im letzten Part Graf Draculas Erben in einem epicen Rap Battle besiegt haben und Kitty hier unserem lieben Basti so eine kleine Lektion erteilen möchte und wir mit Planeten herumgespielt haben und jetzt versuchen das Rätsel zu lösen, ähm, ja, drücken wir mal auf das letzte Knöpfchen und schauen mal, was passiert. Okay. Wir haben auf jeden Fall einen Kling gehört. Das klang erfolgsversprechend. Ähm. Bedienungsfeld gucken. Ja. Yeah. Le Button. Lass uns auf den großen roten Knopf drücken. Ich kann nicht anders. Ich muss einfach. In your face, humans. I've been enjoying this, but I guess I'll be untying you two now. Please tell me what is going on here. All right, let's take it from the top. So this bozo walks in one night with a weird book and starts reading from it. Thus realizing he was singing the sequence to push the capstones in. Thus yet again proving feline superiority. <laughs> Anything you want to say, Buzz? Uh, I'm sorry for doubting you. Also, glad we finally found you, Peace. <sighs> Well, if Father trusted you two, I guess I should too. So, where is this Baron? It seems like him and his goons are about done with what they came to do here. And they're heading over to Fishmouth. Ugh, not again. Let's head down that hatch right now. And we might still catch him before they're off. Uh, after you, ladies. Um. Looks like we're too late. The Baron's left already. And it seems he got what he was looking for. Classics. <laughs> okay. Uh. Who's this Baron? Why were you looking for him? What is he after? Baron Ferenczi. Just one of the many names the Butcher goes by. We're both looking at the same thing here. What do you think it is they've dug out of that rock there? Hmm. I can't really say it. It's too dark. Irgendein El Dutoro, I would behaupten, ne? Hmm. Schon, aber beim Flügel sieht das schon aus, ja? Looks like wings. Oh my god, that's just like in the legend. Precisely. You shall never dismiss local myths as complete nonsense. A huge pair of dragon wings, that's what they got away with. Nothing we can do about it now, Carrier. No end to the work. No end to the work. Uh huh. Dragon wings, just like in the legend, but hey, I'm prepared to believe anything at this point. What does this guy need him for? They do call him the Butcher, so I can only assume the worst. Oh, right. No end to the work? What does that mean, Peace? How much of the book have you read? Uh, I read a bit of it once. It made Kitty start to talk. I was frankly too terrified to examine it since. Open it at the very last page. It, it's writing itself. The work is just another name for the Necronomicon, and it literally has no end. Yet. Hmm. Nicest concept. Yet? Nothing lasts forever, right? One can hope. Hmm. So, wait a minute, does this mean... I don't know exactly what it means to be truthful. No one really does. What we do know is that it can change reality around it. And it might be controlled while doing so. Not by Buzz. Did you just call me Carrier? That seems to be your role, yes. Oh, again with this deterministic nonsense. 
That's a mighty big word there, buddy. The book shows you to carry it, and there's nothing you can do about it. What does that make you? I'm a hunter of evils. Huh, like your dad, huh? He's more of a protector of the other. So everyone has their little role in this production, huh? What's kitties, then? I, uh... I don't want to speculate on that. Smart girl. The other. Almstein is not like us. You think or you know? Neither. I believe. Ugh, never mind. Bob Einstein. Was it you who installed the communications jammer? I was trying to sabotage the Baron. Much good did that do. You gave us quite the headache. Literally. <laughs> Sorry, I guess. Uh, I was kitty. <laughs> How did you get past Vlad and his DJ friend? Did you have to bust out some dope rhymes? Oh, <laughs> what? No, I'm stealthy. I don't think they even suspect what happened going on underneath them. So what's our next... W wait a minute. M my phone's ringing, but we're deep underground. Everything's upside down around here. Dawn, is that you? Finally. Where the heck were you guys? I've been calling forever. Long story. The butcher was here, but he gave us the slip. We did find peace. She's here with us. Hold on, I'm putting you on speaker. Hello. Uh, yeah, hi. So I found what was hidden in Flamel's abode. The stabilizing element. Yeah, a piece of paper with one phrase written on it. What phrase? I have it right here. One sec. A terrible storm and three bells ringing throughout it shall awaken the beast. Hmm. A terrible storm. As freak temp as a Hurricane Herbert, if it's to be taken literally. I seem to just nearly miss it every time I get somewhere. Until one day you won't. Can you reread that for me, Dawn? Sure. A terrible storm and three bells ringing throughout it shall awaken the beast. Three bells. Was könnten die sein? Three bells. There's a bell in this castle. I wonder if it has anything to do with this. And there was a bell above Flamel's place where I found this. So we look for a third one, right? If Awakening the Beast really is what we want. Good point. Well, is it? Oh, that sounds exciting at least. I have enough excitement in my life already. Shall Awaken the Beast? Yeah, that part is a little unnerving. It is a little, true. I feel the same. It probably still needs to happen, right? Most likely, yes. It probably does. Whatever that means. So this was the constant Barnabas told me about. The stabilizing element. If only we actually knew what that meant. The Necronomicon is ever-changing chaos. If Olmstein wrote it down, whatever this phrase describes, will probably happen. For better or worse. This is all fine and dandy, but what do we do next? I'm convinced the butcher's left for Fishmouth, with a pair of dragon wings in tow. Fishmouth. Their evil festival should be in full swing by now. <laughs> you and Kitty shouldn't be showing your faces here again. It's my turn to follow this butcher deep into Fishmouth's stinking guts. Not without looking like one of them creepy cultists, you're not. You need to see the voodoo gentleman about a disguise, Mr. Katype. The password is Fidelio. Tell him Kitty says hi. All right, kids. Head on over to my office. I'll meet you there once I'm done with the butcher. Ooh. That's festival. I'd made my way to the part of town Buzz lived in just as wretched and unappealing as the rest of Darkham. But it was dawn, and that seemed to raise my spirits a little. It was time to look for the voodoo gentleman. Und da ist bis heute noch keine Schuhe. Dass du zwischenzeitlich nicht einmal Zeit gefunden hast, der Maschine Schuhe zu kaufen, oder bei dir zu Hause noch schnell Schuhe zu besorgen. 
Kennst du das Graffiti? Oder du hast ja diese... diese It's another one of those dubious cultist signs. Hast du ja diese schöne Fähigkeit jetzt? There's some sort of weird resistance to the Hunter's Mark, but I'm not that interested anyway. Mhm. Hunter's Mark, ne? Wie war das noch? Alle Würfel mit Advantage? Die sitzt ja da immer noch! Blondine! Nah, I shouldn't use that on her. It's a right glimmering dame sat down at that bench there. All alone in the rain. What say I leg over there and see what the deal is? Hey there, what's a nice girl like you doing in this part of town? Charmer, huh? Not really. I try, but I get called out on it a lot. I'm Don. I'm Margot. It's nice to meet you, Don. Yeah, likewise. Got uh, business with the voodoo gentleman? Why do you ask? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a private investigator. I ask questions for a living. Sometimes I do it without even noticing. Just stop by to thank VG for, um, turning me on to a better path, I guess. Extra straight? No, just talk some sense into me. Let's just say I no longer want to murder my husband. Well, ex-husband now. And I got rid of my toxic lover. Ugh. Oh, well, I'm sure you deserve a good guy for a change. I'm sure I do. So, what are you doing these days? I, uh, roll with a librarian kid with a magic evil book and a talking cat. Just trying to nab this psycho who wants to bring the world to its knees. You're friends with Buzz? Did he pull a fast one on me? Well, it was for the best in the end, so tell him I said thanks. You get around, Margo. Uh, things just happen. Hey, Don. What do you say once you're done with all that? You and me get a coffee. Uh, no. <laughs> Besser nicht. I don't know if you want to know me better, Margo. I uh, ain't the easiest guy to get along with. Oh, a challenge. I like that. No. <laughs> All right, little woman. That's a date. Catch you later, Don. Wait, uh, how do we get in touch? I thought you said you were a detective. Smooth. See you when the world is saved, kid. <laughs> Don, ganz schlechte Idee. <laughs> Die Frau ist gefährlich. It's a bust of some tentacle mugged thing. This is what the taxpayer's money goes to. This. Mm. Okay. Okay. I don't get it. Why display this publicly? Why? I'm keeping the hell away from this guy, whoever he is. By the way, Voodoo Puppen, Hunter's Mark. No resonance whatsoever. Schade. Ich hätte es eigentlich erwartet. Und die Statue hier? What's up with this guy? Ugh. Schon irgendwie. I got no interest in this kind of art. Does nothing for me. I got. Okay, dann gucken wir mal, ob wir mit dem Voodoo können wir hier. No need. I can just talk through it. Nah, but then, yeah. It's a small, half open warm light within. That's a relief. Morning. Password? Fidelio. Hello there. Greetings, traveler. Was that password part really necessary? Ah, oh, not this again. The voodoo gentleman, I presume. You presume correctly, sir. And you are? Katype. Don R. Katype. Friend of Buzz's. He was here a while ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's all right, I hope. Is the cat in the same predicament? Still a wisecracking nightmare. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Interesting interior design choices. Why, thanks for noticing. 
A little eclectic to be sure, but clients seem to appreciate it. You travel a lot, don't you? I can see you've been hitting a lot of the gift shops. Oh no, I avoid those like the plague. Only authentic stuff for me. Shipping is a pain though, believe you me. So uh, what about this Olmstein character? Buzz tells me you says he's a good friend of yours. Yes, yes, I did say that, didn't I? It's a weird, weird thing about Bob. What is? Well, everything. I understand he is some kind of authority in occultism. The extent of his knowledge is splendiferous. He knows a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff, right? But it's all... I can't put it into words. He's different, Bob is. Well, that went nowhere. Du verschwendest eigentlich nur Luft hier irgendwie diesen ganzen Kram. The horrors can't be uh, described in words and stuff, ne? Uh, Klassiker halt, ne? Ich würde ja, ich würde ja liebend gerne mal das Hunters Mark auf diese zwei Dinge hier anwenden, aber mal sehen. Ich möchte das hier vorher fertig quatschen. What does he look like? What's his deal? You probably won't believe me, but see here, it's strange. I've been friends with him for decades now, or at least I'm convinced I have. And yet, it's like one of those dreams where you see the person clearly in front of you, yet when you wake, you can't for the life of you describe them. Oh, come on. I'm serious. Ist das well, he's something else. He's the one person I can really say has changed me. I mean, in his presence, I always feel, um... Volatile, uh, inconsistent, vibrantly fluctuating, inevitably equivocal. So we're just listing fancy words now. Do you have a picture of him? Is he on uh, what you might call it, the, the social uh... media? I don't think I've ever seen Bob in a picture, and he's he's undescribable, a true mystery. Not that you'd care, but none of that helped, like at all. Indeed. What can I tell you, Mr. Katype? Some people are just hermetical like that. Das ist eine sehr Bob scheint doch sehr einzigartig zu sein und ja mit manchen Leuten ist es ja nicht so beschreibbar. Has Bob ever gone by the nickname the Butcher? Oh no, no, the Butcher. The Butcher's a horrible person, whoever he or she is. Care to uh, expand on that subject? Not much is known about the Butcher, even in my circle. He's rumored to be in too. God awful unnatural experiments with the dead. Ugh, horrible, horrible stuff. Bob can't be the butcher, or at least I don't think so. Hmm. Getting on to something else. Wait, before that, there's something about you. I get this feeling that you are somehow marked. All right, I'm impressed. Yeah, I uh, I touched something called the uh, shining trip. Trapeze, tra trapeze. The shining trapezohedron. Yet, yet you stand here before me. So it's true. You have the haunter's mark. Forgive me to throw such a cliche at you, but you truly are chosen. Why, uh, thanks for noticing. Mom always said one day I'd show them all who Don Katype is. Of course, you know, with great dark powers come great dark responsibilities. Oh, yeah. Tenebrous forces consuming and corrupting the mortal soul and all that. Not really mm. a surprise, to be quite honest with you. Ich glaub das immer und immer und immer und immer wieder. <lacht> mittlerweile überlassen die ganzen Spiele und Stories von Spider-Man ja sowieso die ganze Anfangsgeschichte aus, weil die mittlerweile jeder kennt. Warum ständig referenzieren? So, how's the voodoo business going these days? You know, can't really complain. A possession here, a curse there. It's really picked up with all the weird cults running around lately. Yeah, gonna be digging into a lot of that soon. About the Haunter's Mark, what exactly does it do? It is supposed to turn its bearer into a receptor of sorts. Great, now I'm a receptor. A way of channeling past events that involved said object. The things we could learn about the world by employing its power. It boggles the mind. Hmm. Yeah. It does sound kind of useful. Kind of like a superpower. So, I'm not complaining. Not exactly a superpower. It's a dark gift. And it may come with great personal costs. Dark or not, I, uh, like gifts. I can, uh, make my hand glow on command, too. 
Yeah, that's pretty rad. Rad indeed. I'm in the need of some robes to attend the Fishmouth Festival. Think you can help out? The Fest? Whatever would possess you to want to go there? Word of dispassionate advice. Don't. Those are bad, bad people, if people they be. I'm up to my neck in it. Can't really back out now. So, can you help with the robes? I sure can. You're going to need a fine piece of silk, a miniaturized sewing machine, three tufts of recently shed koala fur, what? Anything else? A cemetery caretaker's liver, voluntarily donated. What else? Uh, you know those fish that kind of blow up into like spiky spheres every once in a while? Uh, what are they called? Puffer fish? Yeah, well, one of those. Blowfish. Well, not for the robes. I just really always wanted one. Anything else? Male alligators baby teeth, but they have to be in pristine condition, otherwise they're useless. Oh, and any kind of indie game developer DNA. Tears have historically proven to be the easiest to procure. Okay, I've heard enough. Don't you happen to have the actual article laying around somewhere? As a matter of fact, I do. Can I just, uh, have it? No, uh, fetch quests or anything? Bitte. Mm. Yeah, sure, why not? It was really appreciated at last year's Supernatural Society costume ball, but I doubt it would hit as hard this year. It's in the chest over there. Let me unlock it for you. Thanks, voodoo gentlemen. You're you're all right. No probs, Donatello. Please don't call me that. So, how do I look? <laughs> Appropriately stupid and scary, simultaneously. Alrighty then. Mostly Thanks stupid again. and scary. I'll be on my way. Whoa, whoa! Hold on a minute. That's not enough to get you into the festival, dude. It isn't. What's wrong? Well, don't take this the wrong way, but your smell. Uh, uh I, I've been traveling a lot. No, no, I mean, you don't stink. Oh, yeah, I knew that. But you need to stink to be let inside Fishmouth during that unholy festival. Okay, we must uns irgendwie in Fischkadaver wühlen. Like a couple of skunks getting frisky in a garlic patch? quite the vivid imagery, but no, it's more specific than that. More in the vein of, I've had hundreds of rotting fish rubbed against these robes I'm wearing. The festival seems to be a very fish-themed thing. The locals are very particular with their social gatherings. So, rub a dead fish on it, huh? Shouldn't be too hard. I'm afraid that won't cut it, Don. It really needs to be a lot of rotten fish. All right, Mr. Voodoo. Good looking out. I'll try to think of something. Later. Take care now. And take care of Buzz too while you're at it. Schon, schon. Aber gut, äh, wie wir äh, Zehntausende von gammeligen Fischen, die von irgendeinem gallischen Dorf wahrscheinlich hergelagert werden und äh, weiterverkauft wurden, ähm, sehen wir im nächsten Part. Ich hoffe, es hat euch soweit gefallen. Wir sehen uns dort. Fertig Gott. Also im nächsten Part, nicht im gallischen Dorf. Fertig Gott. <lacht>